Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to revisit this comparison table here that I had created about a year ago. Quite a bit has changed since last year when I had initially created this table, so I thought I'd make an updated video to this. I'm not sure when you're watching this, but I do update the table on a regular basis, and so if at any time you're interested in checking out the table for yourself, I'll leave a link down below in the description. In this comparison table, we will look at the differences among Newton, Virgo CX, Shake pay, net coins, and coinberry. So rather than waste your time and go through every single detail in the comparison table, I'm just going to highlight the pros and cons of each platform and hopefully that way it'll help you better decide which platform is best for you based on your situation. So for Newton, their pros are their prices and coin variety. In terms of their prices, it's pretty much the best in Canada overall. As for their coin selection, they've definitely increased their coin selection since last year. In terms of their cons, I would say that they've got slow support based on testimonials, but I think they've resolved most of this as I do recall them saying that they've hired more staff to meet the demand. The other con is their minor surcharge fee. So basically when withdrawing your coins from Newton, if at that time the minor fee exceeds $5, then you'll need to pay the difference in fees. As for Virgo CX, their pros are their limit orders and coin variety. In addition to this, they also have pretty competitive prices for their coins. Their prices are very similar to Newton's prices. Sometimes they're cheaper, sometimes they're more expensive. So I would say that it's a tie between them and Newton for best prices. As for their cons, they have fees for both cash and coin withdrawals. Their fee on cash withdrawals are 0.5% with a $5 minimum fee and their fee on coin withdrawals vary. For ShakePay, one of the pros is the free coin withdrawals. This is great if you're buying in small increments and withdrawing those coins immediately. In addition to this pro, they also have limited orders. Also, one thing that I do want to mention is that ShakePay has a quote unquote shaking sats program where you can earn free Bitcoin daily just by shaking your phone within the app. The longer your shake streak is, the more you collect. I know it sounds like a gimmick or a scam, but I assure you it's not. They introduced this back in late 2019, and I've been getting free Bitcoin daily since. To gain access to it though, you must either have been referred to it or you need to refer someone to ShakePay. In terms of ShakePay's cons, one con is that they only offer Bitcoin and Ethereum. The other con is their prices. They can be a bit expensive, especially when there are cheaper options. For Netcoins, their pros are that they accept USD funding via wire transfer. There is, however, a minimum of 500 US dollars. This doesn't mean that they service Americans though. This is just for Canadians who prefer to fund via USD instead of Canadian dollars. The other pro is that they have limit orders. In terms of their cons, they are the $10 minimum purchase and their minor fees. As for Coinberry, their pros are their recurring or auto buys. This is good if you just want to set and forget your buys on the coins that they offer. In addition to this, they have an okay selection of coins. In terms of their cons though, it's their prices and minor fees. They're the most expensive among the five, but they make it up by allowing you to conveniently buy with their set and forget recurring buy feature. So there you have it. Those are the pros and cons of these platforms. As you can see, they're all different and serve different groups of people. There is no quote unquote best platform. The best platform is the one that suits your needs. And hopefully this video here has helped you better decide which one is best for you. If you're still unsure of which one's best for you, why not just try them all out and see what you like best? No one says that you can only sign up with just one platform. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video or found it educational and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below as I do check and respond. If you think that there's someone who'll get some value out of this video, please share it with them. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.